Zimbabwe, where pharmacies in the country are taking advantage of technology to continue business amid the effects of the COVID-19 global pandemic. Like many other countries, the uh, pharmacy sector was also brought to its knees by dealers have uh, opted, of course, but dealers rather have opted to new ways to continue operations and to help save their businesses. The country's pharmacies network is working on cons col consolidating their efforts to revive a once vibrant sector. Here are more details of that in this report. This pharmacy opened its doors in April, just as the COVID-19 related lockdowns were imposed. With everyone stuck at home, the fledgling business faced the possibility of closure, but found a lifeline through technology. People can just send in their prescriptions on WhatsApp, on email, or call in their prescriptions, or we talk to the doctor so that we can deliver. So that's what we had to do so that uh, we limit people coming to the pharmacy, first of all, we limit interactions, and yeah, and also manage to still supply the medicines. Well, most of our sales during COVID were mainly through that avenue. So it helped us survive. I'm not sure if we would have been able to, to even keep afloat uh, without, that, without that innovation. This is a new housing development still coming up. And so customers are sparse for retail oriented businesses. However, what this small pharmacy has been able to do by going virtual is open up the entire Harare market. Along the way, it's been improving the model including pooling deliveries by area to maximize efficiency while still maintaining the integrity of the profession. Part of our job is to be able to determine if this prescription is valid. So for prescriptions that we can do that, we, we just do that. We print it here um, or we collect it at the delivery point. Some prescriptions, you need the, the hard copy. Um, for example, dangerous drugs, the ones that are prone to being abused. Those are the ones that uh, we, we have to be strict on. Now, Big health insurers are scaling up the model, networking hundreds of pharmacies with hundreds of thousands of members. One thing we noticed in Zimbabwe over the past uh, seven to ten years is that a lot of the pillars that are needed for e-commerce to work have been set up bit by bit. I mean from mobile payment platforms uh, to an increase in data usage and having smartphone devices or uh, gadgets that can be used to access the internet. So e-commerce was ready but there just wasn't something that was nudging it or pushing it forward. But what COVID has done is it has uh, opened the eyes of any service provider. That's attested to by the fact that clients no longer have to walk into such pharmacies but simply call or click to get their medication. From the report there in Harare, Zimbabwe, 